Hi, I'm Doug Boyd, director of the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History at the University of Kentucky Libraries. One of the challenges you face when indexing oral histories is knowing how much information to include in an index. The Nunn Center has created a system of levels to establish a frame of reference for measuring the breadth and depth of indexing an oral history interview in Ohms so we can plan and budget for large indexing projects. Currently we have three levels of Ohms indexing, beginning at level 1 and increasing in content and detail to level 3. When you watch this video, you will learn what the Nunn Center considers to be a level 1 index, how it compares to a level 2 or 3 index, and what the components of a level 1 index are and why you might choose to index an interview at level 1. Level 1 is the least descriptive of the levels used and is the quickest and most affordable way to make an oral history more accessible to users using the Ohm system. Although it does not have the depth of higher level indexes, adding a level 1 index to an interview is a good way to quickly make interviews more browsable with a small degree of searchability. Level 1 indexes make use of fewer metadata fields while also requiring less detail for each field. Here's an example of a level 1 index featuring an interview with Wild Turkey's master distiller, Jimmy Russell, from the Kentucky Bourbon Tales Oral History Project. This segment begins at the 41 minute and 55 second mark when the interviewer asks Jimmy Russell about how the Wild Turkey Distillery makes its bourbon. This is a brief clip of a segment from the interview. If you would like to watch the segment in its entirety, please visit the OMS webpage at oralhistoryonline.org. What's your take on the process? Well, you know, say we haven't changed a thing here. We're buying premium grains. We don't use any GMO grains. If you know generic modified, we're not using any of them. And uh, we're more uh, lighter on the corn and heavier on rye and barley and malt, where a lot of them's a lot heavier on corn and lighter on. We're looking for that big, bold flavor taste that's one on one proof. And that's what we're looking for. And distilling at low proof is we're still putting it in the barrel at low proof. Uh, the higher you distill any things, you know the less flavor you have it. And I always use simple terms when I'm explaining to people. You know, you and I can sit here and technically could talk about everything. People understand, we understand it. But out in, the, out in the public, they don't understand when you start talking about all the hides and esters and fused oils and all this. But I use a simple example. I'll ask people how they like their steak. Well done? Nobody. Oh, I know. I, well, how'd you want to cook it well done? No flavor. I said, you answered my question. That's the reason we still distill it low proof. The higher you distill anything, the less flavor you have in it. And say our warehouses are seven stories tall. Uh, you know, the bottom floors, it stays cooler all the time. The middle floors is ideal. The humidity and temperature is not there. It's real hot up. And you don't need a sun in the summertime here. Just start up old steps. The further you go up with the metal clad bill and the metal roof, the hotter it's going to be. And uh, we're, we're looking to ours. We're sampling every year knowing how to age. We have a lot of windows in our warehouse. We open the windows in the summertime to get that good air circulation through the building. We close. Somebody asked if well, we're climate controlled. I said, yes, we're climate controlled. We open the windows in the summertime. We close them in the winter. That's climate control, isn't it? But we're always looking for that. And uh, we, don't, we try to put our barrels in at different levels every day's production. When indexing in ohms, each segment must have a title. This title is the main content of a level 1 index and provides the user with basic information about the content within this segment. The title must be as informative as possible, while at the same time not overwhelming the user with too much detail. Because the example segment is about the steps involved in making bourbon, we will call it Wild Turkey Distillery's bourbon making process. Level 1 indexes may also contain keywords when appropriate. In a level 1 index, keywords are only necessary when the title is not descriptive enough on its own to give the user a sense of what the segment is about. Because a level 1 index does not contain as much content as higher level indexes, keywords should not contain the same information as the chosen title. 
If a word is already located in the title of the segment, the user will already be aware that the topic is part of the content in that segment. Use keywords to enhance and complement segment titles and provide a greater number of access points within the interview. Use detailed and specific keywords whenever possible. In order to provide more access points for this interview, several keywords were chosen. These include distillation, quality, distilling, warehouses, barrels, aging, consistency, and ingredients. Although Wild Turkey Distillery is an important topic within the segment, it is unnecessary to include it as a keyword since it's already used in the title. We have chosen to end the segment at 52 minutes and 4 seconds. In order to begin a new segment about new trends within the bourbon industry, a typical level 1 interview will contain 5 to 10 segments per hour of interview time. Although level 1 indexing is the most efficient way to make interviews easier to browse and search, the Nunn Center rarely indexes at level 1. Higher levels of indexing provide greater information and more access points for the user. So level 1 indexing is only chosen if time or money is a major factor. Now remember, the Nunn Center has found this system of measuring indexing levels to work best for our needs. Other repositories or institutions may wish to create their own system of levels and content based on their own resources and goals. Enjoy using OMS, and good luck on your project.